Cash flow results, um, in a nutshell, our revenue was up 7%. Um, our expenses um, were up by 11%. And overall, it equated to operating profit being down by 3%. And with a disappointing 7% down on headline earnings basis. Um, albeit all of that, the dividend at 2 rand 75 per share is still positive. Um, also 7% down on the prior year. For us, it's been a tough year. We've been... Uh, um, Struggling on the top line, um, the prospect for next year is, or for the rest of the financial year, is that we remain cautious about the trading. We saw the first six weeks after the uh, half uh, rendering a 10% um, growth in revenue, but we are cautious about the figures that we're seeing. Um, the economy is still stuff, our consumers are still under pressure, and we're not expecting any, any major growth on the top line. So it's still going to be a tough financial year for us. In the meantime, we uh, continue investing in our stores. We've expanded, we've added seven stores in our business and we hope to open another seven by the end of the financial year to bring the numbers to 214 stores trading. And we've also refurbed a number of stores, 13 to be exact, and we've uh, moved uh, or relocated uh, four stores during this financial half, half year of, of the finance. When you look at our cash performance, it's, it's, uh, it might seem slightly misleading. Um, 900 odd million rands of cash on the balance sheet. Being on a retail calendar where we work in um, calendar or weeks, or retail weeks, our cut-off sometimes happens that uh, the creditors are paid before the cut-off um, date and then sometimes it happens that it's paid after the cut-off date. So this, this half year, the payment happened um, the day after the cut-off date. We cut off on the 29th of December and there was a payment of 500 million made to creditors um, directly after the uh, cut-off period, which was not the case in the uh, previous um, comparative of. Yeah.